Good afternoon, dear children. Let us get ready for our prayers. Sit up straight, join your hands, close your eyes and be silent. Dear Lord, I thank you for blessing each one of us with a wonderful day today and keeping us all in our best of health. I also thank you, Lord, for blessing me, my family, friends with so many beautiful things around me and with me. Lord, help me to share all these things with the people around me. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. A very good afternoon to you, dear children. We have had a bright and sunny day. Now the monsters have come out to pray. Cause we've wasted water in many ways. Blood and splash, our water's gone to waste. Stop the tap from running all the way. When we clean our brush or scrub away. Stop the shower. Well, children, open your GK and Conversation textbook to page number 3030, lesson number 2727, Sources of Water. Write today's date 18-1, 18th of January. We heard the song, right about the water. We need to save the water as it is very important part of our life. But have you ever imagined, children, from where do we get this water? Can any of you answer me? From where do we get this water? Yes, we see water in seas, in rivers, lakes, dams, wells. Yes, you're right. But what is the main source of water? Let's learn. Rain. This is a picture showing us that it is raining. There are black clouds in the sky and water droplets are falling down and getting collected. Now what happens in summer is the sun shines bright in the sky and when it becomes very hot some drops of water from the collected water moves upwards to the sky again which we cannot see and those water droplets that move up and form a cloud gets filled with water and when it is time for the water to pour down we have the rains the rainy season so you need many many droplets of water for the rain for the rainy season to come so it takes a long time to form the clouds so the main source of water is the rain if we do not have enough rains there will be no water anywhere, not in the sea or river or lake or the wells. So we have to be very careful in using this water. We need to save this water. Let's learn some sources of water. Means from where do we get the water? Rains. 
the rain is the main source of water then it gets collected into the sea now children you all have been to a beach isn't it yes and have you tasted that sea water maybe when you are playing in the water it might have gone in your mouth what is the taste the sea water tastes like salt it is salty because there is salt in sea water and you cannot drink sea water as it is very salty am i right yes so we have enough water in sea but it is not fit for drinking very good the rain water is then collected into rivers this is a river it keeps on flowing from one place to another this is one of the source of water that is the river there are people staying on river banks and also there are trees planted near the river banks you get small fishes also in these rivers to catch the next source of water is the lake a lake is smaller than a river a river flows from one place to another but in a lake water is collected into one place there too you can enjoy the water by having a boat ride or you can go for a holiday lake water also can be used for drinking and also the river water can be used for drinking after purifying it you cannot drink the river water directly you may fall sick so the water is purified in a place and then it is sent to our homes you all must be knowing this isn't it yes you may have it near your homes also that is a well this is a well the rain water gets collected inside this well and then with the help of a rope and a pot you can remove the water out for your use so this is also a source of water now what happens when you are digging a well you dig it deeper and deeper and deeper into the soil into the earth and then you get springs of the water which has gone inside the ground and that water which is collected in the ground comes out in the form of a spring and slowly and slowly the water gets collected into the well which you can use throughout the year till the next rainy season this is a dam a dam is a place where water is collected in high amount and a wall is built between the water and there are small doors opening on every wall now what happens if a village is facing water problem means they do not get water every day a person opens a door of one of the wall and the water which was collected gushes out through the door and flows into the lake or river for the people to use it if there is more problem of water shortage two doors are open and even more then all these doors are open for the water to gush out so that people can use this water so what dam is a place where water is stored for our use and also the rain water is collected in these dams so these are some of the sources of water means from where we get water both for the use or or our 
drinking. Let us look at them once again saying their names. Sources of water. Rain. Sea. River. Lake. Well. And dam. Let us look at the question and answers. Question number one. Where do we get water from? Answer. We get water from rain, river, lake, well and dam. Which is also used for drinking. Question number two. Why do we not drink sea water? Answer. We do not drink sea water because it is salty. Sea water is salt. There is lots of salt in the sea water. And it is not fit for us to drink the sea water. So now that we know from where we get water from the different places, that we get water from, let us do a worksheet. Open your activity book to page number 4 to 42. Write today's date 18 slash 1, 18th of January. Lesson number 27, Sources of Water. Let us read the question. Pick the correct source of water and cross the wrong one means if it is the correct source of water you have to put a tick mark if no you have to put a cross in the box let's begin this is a picture of a dam is dam a source of water yes water is collected in dams for our use so we have to put a tick mark very good this is a picture of a lake is lake a source of water? Do we get water from lakes? Yes. So you put a tick mark. Very good. This is a picture of a glass. Do we get water from the glass? No. We pour water in the glass when we need to drink it. But we do not get water from the glass. So you have to put a cross. This is a picture of a woman with two pots. But are these pots source of water? Do we get water from the pots? No. We fill water in the pots. So here we put a cross. Very good. This is a picture of a tree. Is tree a source of water? Do we get water from trees? No. So we put a cross sign. This is a picture of rain falling. Is this a source of water? Is rain a source of water? Yes, it is the main source of water. No rains, no water anywhere. So we put a tick mark. This is a picture of sea water. Is sea water a source of water? Yes, but it is not fit for drinking. Excellent. This is a picture of a boy having a bath in a tub. Is tub water a source of water? No, we do not get water from the tub. We fill the tub to have a bath. So we put a cross sign. Very good. This is a picture of a well and well is a source of water. Excellent. So we put a tick mark. So this is how you will do your worksheet on sources of water. And always remember children, save water. When you are brushing your teeth, some of us keep the tap open and the water is flowing. That is wrong. We need to save the water 
for our future otherwise we will have no water left for drinking or using it in different ways so you need to save the water every drop is important so take care of the water in your homes and save it too